Hey guys, this is Aaron. I'm going to walk you through using the follow me and delete tools to put a roof, a hip roof, onto this house. So right here I have some simple house geometry in need of a roof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a side. I'm going to use this side right here. And I'm going to start by connecting to the side and drawing a line perpendicular to that wall. This is going to be my overhang length. So I'm going to tell exactly how far I want my overhang to stick out. In this case, I'm going to 2 foot, so I'm going to type in 24, hit enter. Now I'm going to draw a vertical line at the end of that overhang line. This is going to create my fascia, the vertical part at the end of the overhang. This is just going to be 6 inches, so I'm going to type in 6, enter. Now I'm going to bring a line straight back, again perpendicular to the wall, for exactly 12 feet. Now I'm going to put in a vertical line. This vertical line is going to be exactly 6 feet. What that 6 and 12 feet let me do is when I connect these back like that, this is my roof slope. So right now, that's a 6 over 12 slope because it went over 12 feet and then up 6 feet. I'm going to grab my overhang line here, and I'm going to close this shape up. And there I have my roof profile. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the surface of the top of the house, and I'm going to hit Follow Me, and then pick my profile. That's going to stretch that profile all the way around the house. We get a bunch of overlaps here at the top where the surfaces cross each other, so what I need to do is clean that up. I'm going to triple click on the roof, I'm going to right click and say intersect faces with selection. That's going to break all those surfaces up. Now I grab my eraser tool and any place that these planes pop up, I'm just going to delete those lines. I can work my way around this roof, deleting those lines, and when I get done, all that's going to be left are the hip lines that actually create my roof. So any place that pops up where it shouldn't, I got a bunch of these lines sticking out. I can just one at a time delete them out. Uh, getting there, getting down to the roof. All right, the other thing that shows up here, oops, I deleted too many lines. I'll draw that back in, close that back up. And any place these surfaces cross through the roof, I also end up with a little line here, little scratches on top of the roof, so I'm going to delete those out too. Again, just use an erase to click and erase each of those lines. And when I'm done, see I'll have roof geometry, my hip roof. Architecturally correct, got my correct overhang, fascia, and my 612 slope in just a couple minutes. Last couple of house cle cleaning things here. I can triple click again, reverse my faces, and I might have to flip upside down and close up the underside of my overhang. So there you go. A hip roof using the follow me and delete tools.